Was the outsourcing of state facilities on a faster track than the Haslam administration has been willing to admit? That's the question raised by an internal document uncovered by News Channel 5 Investigates and our chief investigative reporter, Phil Williams. Well, this is a document that the public was never intended to see. What it reveals is a timetable that could potentially turn the maintenance and operation of virtually all state buildings over to a big corporation in less than a year. Let's wait and see. Let's wait and see what the results are. Last week, Tennessee Governor Bill Haslam insisted no decision has been made about turning the maintenance and operation of college and university buildings over to a private corporation, along with potentially state prisons and all sorts of other government facilities. They are just committed to privatization. But the Tennessee State Employees Association says this confidential timetable obtained by News Channel 5 Investigates suggests the administration itself isn't waiting to see because I believe they understand that we and many legislators would be opposed to this plan and therefore they want to lull us into a sense of false security. What had been known was that responses to the administration's request for information from prospective vendors were due on August 21st, but the confidential timetable shows officials plan to immediately begin creation of a request for qualifications. That's how the state would pick the companies that would be allowed to bid. That RFQ would be due in the governor's office less than six weeks from now and released to the public just two weeks later. By mid-February, the state would provide notice of which company would be allowed to bid. A formal solicitation for the final contract would be issued May 30th, with bids due from those companies just two weeks later. By July 5th, the state would announce which company would be awarded the job, with the final contract being signed less than a year from now. I believe it's a clear indication that they want it to be a done deal. Uh, this administration has historically uh, try to privatize everything they can. In the state park business, we, we run marinas and golf courses and restaurants. Well, I'm not sure that's a core competency of state government is running golf courses. In fact, Heslam's administration has recently issued a separate invitation for companies to bid on a contract to privatize operations at 11 state parks, a move that causes the State Employees Association even more concern. If we let uh, the Marriott's of the world take over our state parks, we worry about the affordability to average Tennesseans to go and stay at a state park. We now, as to that facilities management contract, the governor's spokesperson, Dave Smith, told me that Haslam is committed to what he calls a thoughtful and deliberate process, again insisting that no decisions have been made and there is no timeline from the governor's office. Meanwhile, under this confidential timetable prepared by others in the administration, none of the information being submitted by those companies would become public until next summer. And Vicki, that would be well after the legislature has gone home for the year. All right. Thanks so much, Phil.